Hello everyone, my name is Margarita Alexandrova and I'm going to present you our poster entitled Caperate Optimality for Many Objective Genetic Optimization. This work was done in collaboration with Jean Rupert from Mathematics and Computing Center Luxembourg and Thomas Engel from the University of Luxembourg. The figure on the left demonstrates the fraction of solutions belonging to the first front for 0-1 knapsack problems with different number of objectives ranging from 2 to 5. As we can see, this number increases rapidly with the number of the objectives. For 5 knapsacks, after 100 generations, almost all solutions belong to the first front, indicating that they are all incomparable or equally preferable. This is known as the lack of selection pressure that doesn't allow the genetic algorithm to further advance the evolution. This observation is also demonstrated with the animation on the right. Here, the red cloud of points stops advancing faster than the others. All this makes the problem of adapting the predominance-based genetic algorithms to the case of larger number of objectives an important research topic. As an attempt to solve this problem, we propose a new sorting procedure based on Pareto optimality. To understand how it works, let us first consider the traditional Pareto dominance-based sorting for a maximization problem. In this sorting, first all null dominated points are identified and they are assigned to the first front. After that, they are removed from the consideration and the process is repeated until all points are assigned to a front. Pareto optimality-based sorting works differently. In this case, for every point we calculate its Pareto optimality value as the number of points that dominate the current one. After that, all points are assigned to fronts in the descending order of their Pareto optimality. Corresponding example is given on the right. Here, three points A, B and C are not dominated by any other one, so their Pareto optimality value is zero and they are assigned to the first front. Point E is dominated by one point C, its Pareto optimality is 1 and it is assigned to the second front. Point D is dominated by two points, A and B. Point F is also dominated by two points, E and C. Their Pareto optimality value is equal to 2 and they are assigned to the third front. The two sorting procedures provide different results. For example, the point D was assigned to the second front for Pareto dominance-based sorting, however, in Pareto optimality-based sorting, it moved to the third front. This figure demonstrates the result of sorting of uniformly distributed points using Pareto dominance and Pareto optimality. As we can see, the second approach has higher preference toward extreme points. This can be a very useful property for genetic optimization as it increases the diversity of the gene pool. We discussed how Pareto optimality can be calculated using counting measure. In case of independent objectives, it can be replaced with a probabilistic measure. The two versions of the algorithm are referred to as pure count and pure probe, respectively. To evaluate the performance of the proposed sorting procedure, we incorporated it into an SGA2 algorithm and attempted to solve 0-1 knapsack problem. In our experiments, the number of objectives range from 2 to 25 and we used NSGA2 and NSGA3 algorithms as baseline. The figure on the left demonstrates the relative increase in hypervolume as compared to NSGA2 in person. We can see that the line corresponding to NSGA3 is mostly below zero, indicating the worst performance. The line corresponding to pure count is very close to zero, thus indicating that its performance is very close to that of NSGA2. Pure probe, however, allows to substantially increase the value of the hypervolume for larger values of knapsacks, reaching plus 30% for 25 objectives. The figure on the right demonstrates the average percentage of dominated solutions by other algorithms. As we can see, starting from three objectives, pure probe is never dominated by any other approach. To conclude, in this work we proposed a novel sorting procedure based on Pareto optimality. Our experiments with 0-1 knapsack problem demonstrate that it allows to increase the value of hypervolume by up to 3% for multi-objective optimization and up to 30% for many objective cases. Additionally, our approach results in better fitted solutions as compared to NSGA2 and NSGA3. Please join our poster session to learn more.